They're off and pacing, and it's Bunny Lake moving right out the leader feet. Crosses over now on that clubhouse turn. Moving right up along the rail is Pleasure Chest. Coming away third. Cartridge Hanover, they swing into the back stretch. And as they start down the back lane, along the outside, Bunny Lake has a little length in three quarters. Pleasure Chest is there second. Cartridge Hanover third. Slan Sand Slickerish is fourth. Melody's Diamond fifth, Eternal Justice six, followed by Tarina's Best and Jenna's First Lady. They went that quarter 27 and 1. They come pacing out of the far turn the first time. It's Bunny Lake on the front end, a length and a quarter. Pleasure Chest is racing second. Card Trick Hanover third, Sand Slickerish moving up along the outside, four. Also moving up along the outside now as they get that I have is Melody's Diamond. Off the rail, Tarina's best with eternal justice. Jenna's first lady, halftime, 57 and 1. They race around the clubhouse, turn her payoff half mile. And Bunny Lake starts them in the back stretch with that lead at two and a half. Pleasure Chest is racing a second. On the outside, Sand Slickerish third. Carter Hanover fourth. Along the outside, Melody's Diamond fifth. Eternal justice six with Tarina's best. Jenna's first lady, three quarters, 124 and three. On the Turner coming home, and Bunny Lake is in command in the second division of the Courageous Lady. She's out there by two and a half. Pleasure Chaz trying to reel her in. On the outside, Cartridge Hanover, they're in the top of Heartbreak, laying a drive for the wire. And Bunny Lake bringing them down. Pleasure Chest on the inside. Outside, Cartridge Hanover, get ready to mark your ballots. It's Bunny Lake. It won 53 and 2. of the second division of this year's Courageous Lady three-year-old Philly Stake. Pacing her mile tonight in one fifty-three and two, number six, Bunny Lake. She's just posted her 18th victory in a row, her 19th of the season. This win makes her the richest female pacer for a single season in the history of the standard bred sport. Eclipsing the mark set by Miss Easy in 1990. She is a daughter of Precious Bunny out of Lake Nona by Abercrombie. Owned by W. Springtime Racing Stable, Johnstown, New York. Trained and driven tonight by Mr. John Stark, Jr. Trackside making the trophy presentation. We have the president of Northfield Park Associates, Mr. Myron Charna. Accompanied by Northfield Park Director of Racing, Greg Keitel. We'll have your prices posted momentarily as we're currently in a tote delay. Driver has been announced on number three, Kentucky Tross. It will be John Stark Jr. John Stark Jr. will drive three, Kentucky Tross, in the 14th race. And speaking of Mr. Stark Jr., he's standing by right now with our Dave B. and Coney in the winner's circle. Count me in. Here with John Stark in the winner's circle. John, uh, she just keeps on going now. 18 wins in a row for Bunny Lake. This win actually makes her the richest female pacer ever for a single season, breaking up another pretty good Phillies name by the name of Miss Easy, set back in 1990. Uh, what more can you really say about this horse? Uh, I mean, she's just a uh, super filly, uh, beautiful to drive. She's got such gate speed, and uh, once she gets to the top, she relaxes, she, and she waits for him, and when she hears him, she just digs. The only question now is she's obviously the three-year-old Philly Pacer of the Year. The question is, will she be overall Horse of the Year in the sport of harness racing? And as long as this winning streak is going, I don't see how you could vote against her. Uh, but some knocks on her early because she's just a New York bred. But uh, they said that about a horse named Gala Blue Chip, too. But she's certainly proven she can race with anyone. 
Yeah, even last year at two, we raced her in Lexington in the final year, and she, uh, I didn't get out quick enough, or she would have won that, and that was against the best two-year-old filly, so we knew we were competitive with them. What all is left for her uh, here in 2001? Well, she's got uh, Matron in Dover, but uh, I don't know. It's a month away. I don't know if we're going to wait for it or just shut her down and wait for next year. But she will be back to race as a four-year-old. Obviously, she's going to be a great broodmare at some point, but she's still got some racing to do uh, in 2002. Yeah, we'll race her at four, and then uh, that'll be her last. Then we'll uh, breed her. All right. Well, thank you so much. Even if this is your last stop of the season, it's even more special. We're certainly glad to have you uh, and Bunny Lake and all the connections of this horse here at Northfield. Win number 18 in a row. Now the richest female pacer ever for a single season, the great Bunny Lake. Now a courageous lady champion. Thanks, John. Thank you. It's Melody's Diamond fifth. Eternal Justice seventh. Bunny Lake the winner. Tarina's best fourth. Jenna's first lady was eighth.